And now breaking news on Wall Street. The Nasdaq had its worst day of the year as the trade war with China intensifies. The Dow and the S&P also had their worst day in months. The Dow tumbling more than 600 points. S&P losing 69 and the Nasdaq dropped 269. The losses after China said it would raise tariffs on $60 billion of American goods. And experts say that this could mean you have to pay more money for items including food like from meat all the way to juice. CBS News Dick Brennan here now with more on this. Dick? Christina Marie's tariffs are paid by importers of goods, think retailers and wholesalers. They either absorb the fee or increase prices to consumers. And now the new tariff of 25% on China, well, they won't be able to absorb that, and that means you'll pay more. China has been taking advantage of the United States for many, many years. I'm not just talking about during the Obama administration. Uh, you can go back long before that. President Trump today defending stiffer tariffs on China. The U.S. raised tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese-made goods last Friday, and that could mean Americans paying more for products of all kinds across the board. Furniture is a big one. Building supplies is a big one. Shampoo, dog collars, baseball mitts, backpacks, luggage, leather handbags, the fabric that goes into fleece. There are thousands of items on this list. Experts say the first round of tariffs last year did not have a large impact on U.S consumers, but this time will likely be different. The question is how much will U.S. companies raise their prices for these goods and then in return how will uh, consumers react to those price increases. China announced a new round of retaliatory taxes of up to 25 percent on more than 5,000 U.S. made products, the steepest penalties impacting beef, plants, fruits and vegetable exports. I love the position we're in. There can be some retaliation, but it can't be very, very substantial by comparison. So when will consumers see prices going up? We won't see it immediately, but probably, you know, in the summer and in the fall for the, for the holiday season, for sure. Experts say beware. Some retailers take the opportunity to raise prices with or without tariffs. There was a tariff put on washers last year, and the average washing machine went up by 86 bucks, both domestic produced and the ones that were imported. Also, dryers went up by $92. There was no tariff on a dryer. So what we know is that U.S. and international manufacturers use the opportunity to jack prices on both types of goods. Now, the president says he'll meet with China's President Xi Jinping next month at the G20 summit in Japan. China has invited the U.S. Trade Representative and the Treasury Secretary to Beijing for continued negotiations, but there are no definitive plans for that trip as of now. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.